All right, this is my furnace. It's uh, been a while since I made a last video, and uh, well, this is my new project I've been working on. Uh, as you can see, it's made out of an old um, air tank, and it's got some inch and a quarter pipe here, one on each side, and that's used for air inlets, and the top lifts off on a nice little hinge with some refractory, a bit of homemade refractory in here. Yeah, I don't think you can see that, but you can see the... Uh, no, I don't think you can see it, but anyway, it's the air inlet. The refractory is made of bentonite clay, sand, and um, a bit of perlite. One, one. I think I'd say so. Anyway, and a bit of cement to keep it all together. Mounted on some nice lawnmower wheels, because this thing weighs a ton, of course. And... Uh, at the bottom here, I've got a nice little trap door. Because if you've never seen this furnace, uh, I think these are known as a cupola furnace. And, uh, you know, put air in there and you build a nice charcoal fire in there. And, uh, we can use coke and other things as well, but I think charcoal is probably what I have to settle with, because uh, it's surprisingly hard to get your hands on it. <laughs> Not the little white powder stuff, anyway. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, build a fire, load in bits of cast iron, plug up this little hole down here and after a while when it starts melting you unplug it and you put your nice crucible under here and collect the little bit of molten fire and uh, here we go you must start making things so just gotta let it cure for a bit more and then we should be able to fire up and uh, see how she goes 